It's a good day. I think Ribat should unmute his microphone to hear the double knock. Oh, yeah, it, it shows that we are actually live on Facebook. I think we probably can start, um, but let's let's give a background. Uh, hi, Ali, how are you? Hi, how are you, Atik? I'm good, thank you, brother. So uh, me and you, we got together earlier yesterday. We made a video. Uh, a little, you know, Zoom session <laughs> with regards to summarize spoken text. And, uh, you know, I suppose it helps a lot of our students to get a bit more clarity into what they should be doing in summarize spoken text. Uh, and I've had um, overwhelming messages <laughs> asking that, okay, it was very beneficial. I think, uh, can you do something for summarize written text? Which is the reason why I, I you know, I reached out to you earlier this day, today and we wanted to sort something out with regards to summarized written text. Thank you uh, for agreeing to join this Zoom session. Let's do and, it. And uh, let's let's start. Uh, I believe you know this little demo series is that we have started me and you. It's it's benefiting a lot of our students. So the purpose, dear students, today right now is to give you a bit more idea about what should you be doing to do well with summarized written text. And here with me today is Ali who is going to give you a perfect demo and okay. uh, you know, a precise message into what should be done for summarized written text. Ali, okay. the floor is yours. Thank you, Atik. So hello, everybody. For summarized written text, as all of you know, or if you don't know, you have 10 minutes and you will be given a text and you need to summarize it. You need to write a summary. If we go through the marking guide, uh, you will get seven marks for each uh, summary. Two of the marks are coming from the content, one mark for the form, two marks for the grammar, and two marks for the vocabulary. Ali, I'm sorry, I have a question straight away. Yes, let's go. Uh, you said uh, you, you've, you've given information with regards to the marking guidelines. So you said content and two marks for content. What is content? Okay, so if you guys, all of you, and even you, Ati, can see the text in front of me, so this is a real exam question. Let's uh, describe it for the students as per this context, yeah? Okay. So this is a text uh, where you are supposed to grab the main ideas to get two out of two in the content, okay? okay? In the content, you aren't allowed to get zero. If you get zero in the content, you will get zero in the whole task. So you must be able to get the main ideas to get two out of two. Next question, Ali. So content is what main ideas are. Yeah. So how, how would you define main ideas or what are main ideas? Perfect. So this is actually the main purpose of our class, how to find the main idea. Usually students, what do they do in this task? They write straight away. My message for all the students, writing without reading is a very bad idea. Stop it. Yep. If you're doing it, stop it. To get the main ideas properly, you must read first. Yeah. Out of the 10 minutes, you must spare the first one minute to read and scan. When I say scan or screen, it means you need to read quickly. You are not reading every single word. Mm -hmm. In one minute, you are reading the whole text from A to Z, from the first to the last word, to understand the purpose of the text. It's purpose not... of the text, you said? Yep. Yeah, the purpose okay. of the text. Purpose. Because it's not in English. In every written text, there is only one main purpose. Okay. For example, if you are writing uh, to apply for a job, obviously the purpose of your email is job application and so on. Of course. Why it is so important to understand the purpose of the text? Because later when you are getting the main ideas, you are including the main ideas or the ideas that are related to this purpose. Okay. For example, let me ask you a question, Atik. If you are reading a text about any disease, would mm -hmm. you be interested to know the transmission method of this disease, how this disease is transmitted? Of course, especially with the current situation, I want more. So with the current situation. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, so this is an example. Would you be interested to know the symptoms of this disease if you are reading a text? Sure, you... yes. I, I, would, I definitely want to find out a, a bit so more information. If you got a that. sentence talking about the symptoms of the disease would be a main idea, for example. Okay, okay. okay. So the first thing that. you have to do it is read it for one minute, understand the purpose. Okay. Later, when you are picking up the main ideas, and here, please, dear students, pay attention very well and bring your notes and write down. When you are picking up the main ideas, you are reading a sentence, this sentence from A to Z. 
how to make a decision if it's a main idea or not you need to ask yourself two questions yeah okay I'm, two trying, questions, I'm trying to make it very simple and very practical two questions okay. the first question ask yourself okay i'm reading this sentence was it mentioned before in the text like i see in the sentence you are reading it in the body was it mentioned in the introduction or somewhere else before if no if it's a new sentence that you haven't read before in the text now it's time to ask the second question okay. it is a new sentence but is it crucial to the reader as a part of the purpose or as a part of the general statement of this text if um, yes then this is a main idea to be taken down when you say crucial uh, would that have to be in relation to the context of the entire passage yes it must be in relation to the main purpose of the main entire purpose, passage okay. and this will be more clarified when we have a look at the real exam question in front of us okay of course so two questions is it a new sentence if it's a new sentence is it crucial to the main purpose or the general statement if yes this must be taken as a main idea that's okay. for the theory let's make it more practical so as i mentioned guys give yourself one minute to scan the text let's give the students and give ourselves one minute to read it i'm going to read it quickly as well Okay, I'm done. Yes. So if you guys read this one, obviously the main purpose of this text is to tell you about the road rage issue. Why is it happening and how to resolve this problem? Okay, so I've done that. Now I need to pick up the main ideas to score two out of two in the content, which is the most important part. Because remember guys, when you do summarize written text, you're doing that to get your reading score as well, not only writing score, okay? So as per this content in front of me, this context, if I need to select my main ideas, here guys, my message for all of you, the first sentence here, the issue of red rage requires serious attention. This is a main idea, okay? This is the topic, it's introducing the topic. This comes as a main idea. So straight away, my message is clear for you. Don't ignore a main idea from the introduction. Here in this scenario, it was the very first sentence. It's the most general one. It's even more general from the second one, yeah? Mm -hmm. The issue of road rage requires serious attention. This is my topic statement, road rage. So I have to decide upon this one. Okay. okay? Any question, Atik? Um, so yeah, I felt that was a good sentence to take that felt like it was an independent sentence and it was something being introduced. Uh, how about uh, the third sentence I read? It says the commoner, I think it's that one I felt. Yeah. Yeah, I felt that the, a commoner driving a two-wheeler who is hit by a speeding SUV. Okay. Even though the former was following the traffic rules. So I felt this entire sentence was also sort of, you know, right. unrelated to any other, you know, you said how you said it, it has to be an independent sentence. So I felt that this has no connection with our previous, whatever the information is there in this passage previously. Very so, perfect question. Very perfect point that you, you brought in. Guys, in this exam, a student got a feeling that everything is important. <laughs> everything must be included. Trust yes. me, you will get this feeling. Once you get this feeling, you must know that you are wrong. It's not this way. This sentence that Atik has pinpointed right now, yes, it's a new sentence. I agree with you. But at the end of the day, this is kind of example. The whole point from here all the way down, there is nothing to do with the main ideas. It's a story telling you a story to support the claim here. And my oh, message for right. you, right, when right, you guys yeah. get a main idea straight away, don't expect to get the second main idea adjacently, yeah? Okay. In academic writing, a writer starts a claim by writing a main idea, then it will be followed by a supporting idea to support the claim. And sometimes a writer may include an example to prove his claim. So my right. message for you, when you find the main idea, guys, try to relax. At least for one phrase or one sentence, yeah, there must be a difference between the first main idea and the second main idea, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So here, guys, my message is, 
when you are getting the main ideas, you got the first main idea, you decided, at least make sure that you decided that you saw this, uh, this is my idea. And usually in the text, you'll get three to four ideas. Okay, okay. Right. let's say Understood. this is my main idea number one. Understood. Here, if I look at this sentence here, part of the problem is, uh, part of the problem is, uh, uh, part of the problem lies with the attitude and mentality of the driver behind the steering wheel. I also felt that was a good point to take. I agree with you. Let's ask our, ourselves a question. Did he talk about the reason of this issue? Did he talk about any part of this problem? Mm. Mm -mm. No, it's a new sentence. Is it's it a, crucial? Right. It wasn't mentioned before. Yep. It wasn't mentioned and it looks very crucial. It's giving you the reason. Yeah. You know the what reasoning. I mean? Yeah. The reason. Issue of road rage requires serious attention. Why? Because of the attitude, because of the mentality. So here I made a decision upon a main idea number two. And you have heard me saying I made a decision. I'm not typing right now. I'm still reading. I'm deciding upon my three or four my four main ideas, and later I will be typing the ideas. I uh, which brings I have a new question, Ali. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you are highlighting the main ideas. So um, what what should I be doing? Should I be let's say as I highlight as I find out the main ideas, should I start typing those ideas and then go and read? What should be the approach? Look, for me, I suggest students reading first, highlighting or deciding upon the main ideas, finish okay. this task, then type all of them together. Because it will be a bit distracting to read, type the main idea, then read, then type the main idea too. It's time consuming. There are only three to four main ideas. So make sure you decide upon them. You know that this is and this and this and this. You're gone. Now you type. I need to reach um, a point where you are yeah. not looking at the main text anymore. I need to reach a point where you are only focusing in your text box, wrapping up the main ideas and moving to the next step. Okay, so it okay. might be too confusing if I keep looking back and forth, back and forth. 100%. I, I, and you, you, you type and you look back. It's a time consuming, I think. Okay. okay. All right. So Good this advice. is my second main idea. And this will prove what I have said at the beginning of the content. Look here. This idea, the car is a personal vehicle and one possesses the freedom to drive it independently and at one's own will. This idea here, supporting the claim. Mm -hmm. The claim was about the attitude and mentality of the driver. And this idea is supporting giving further explanation. So I no also need... feel, Ali, there's a discourse marker here. It says, but ah. one of the understand. Mm. So I felt this mm. was another key mm. point because this is an opposing view. 100%. So this not... This is not a main idea because it's explaining the main idea mentioned here, but this one because of this discourse marker or because of this joiner, but it is a main idea. And if you keep reading, as you said, it is contradicting up in the second main idea. Take exactly. a listen, guys. The writer said part of the problem lies with the attitude, but hey, hold on. You should understand that this road is for everybody. So this is a main idea number three. Okay. Based on this contradiction, there is one more main idea in this context. And here, Atik, I will ask you a question. If you go and watch a movie, do you mm -hmm. stay back till the end or you leave from the middle of the movie? Of course, watch the entire movie. <laughs> you watch till the yeah. end. Why? Why do you want to watch the last part of the movie? What's the reason? Well, you know, in the movies, the last part, of course, the ending gives the final message and it just wraps up the whole thing. So you mm -hmm. just want to get the final message from, from the end. I agree with you. And this is my message for all of you guys. Don't ignore the last part of any text. Stay back till the end. At the end, in the conclusion, you will get the suggestion, the end of the story, recommendation, uh, anything, guys, that is the reader is reading for at the end. So here, if you take a look here, this is the conclusion or the last sentence in this context. It's very important. And I need to take it as a main idea. Part of the problem lies with the attitude, but you have to understand that the road is for everybody. So please, this is a final suggestion. Please consider the road rules. Adopt a new, uh, adopt a new safety measures just to make sure minimizing this issue. Okay. okay. All right. Sounds good. So those Perfect. are for my ideas. I decided upon them. Usually it shouldn't take by you more than three minutes to make up your main ideas. Then you jump to the next part, which is typing your main ideas. In this way, you will get two out of two in the content, 100% guaranteed. Take the main ideas as they are. In 2020, if you need to get your reading and writing score from this task, do that. If you need something more academic, you can attend our two hour classes, but for all PT aspirants, I'm giving you the quick magic that grants you two out of two in the content, which is take the main ideas as they are mentioned in the main text.
Okay, thank you. That's good advice, Ali. Um, <laughs> you see, I have a bit of, you know, I have, I'm thinking of something uh, It's running on my mind. So the idea purpose, it's, it's a, you know, it's a summarized, spoke, a summarized written text. So it's a summary writing. What if, let's say, I'm not too familiar with the text, you know, um, okay. let's say I'm an accountant and yeah. uh, I'm not familiar with uh, an article that's talking about something that has relations with medical field, right? I love and your questions. I love your question. <laughs> and let's say I try to, you know, get get the message and then formulate answer in my own way. And uh, what, what would happen if I do that? Or is that okay for me to do it? Okay. Because let's say I understood, I perceived what the message was, and then in my own way, I share the message across. What happens then? Okay, I will answer you straight to the point. According to Pearson, you may not be familiar with the given topic, but oh. don't worry, all the required information are contained in. You may be an accountant, and you get a text about engineering. Don't worry, don't panic. All what you need is contained in the text. Or okay. you may be an accountant, and you get a text about accounting, don't ever interpret or add your main ideas. The message right. is very straight. To get the content, stick to the ideas mentioned in the main text. I suppose, uh, you know, just uh, noting down the sentences exactly as they are helps us with that. 100%, it will. And it is guaranteed two out of two, not a one mark less. Okay, excellent. Okay. So please, Ali, show me how to write a full summary. Perfect. And uh, I, I believe there are grammar scores, there are vocabulary scores to look forward to. 100%. So this is the content I ended up having four main ideas. What I need to do is make sure that I'm writing one sentence. The form is uh, one sentence from five to 75 words. It's very strict, yeah? To okay, get so one the, out the of word one, limitation is that uh, the maximum five to word 75 words. words. 70. You can write all the way to 75, no issues at all. But if you write 76, zero, no mercy at all, zero. Zero, uh, is it just losing one mark for form or is it zero oh, for I the wish, entire task? I wish if it is like that, you'll get zero for the entire task. If you right. by mistake write 76 words, zero. If you write two sentences, zero. If you okay. place by mistake a full stop in the middle of the sentence and here I come back to the typo error, zero. If you forget right. to place a full stop at the end, zero. The message right. is very clear. Guys, okay. please, please, please write one sentence. This sentence must be compound or complex compound sentence. Five to 75 words, one full stop at the end. Okay? okay. So if you do that, you get the form. I jump to the grammar, which you have talked about. For the grammar, there are two out of two marks. And here, you shouldn't worry at all. Students, when it comes to grammar, they panic or they freak out. Don't worry. Why? Number one, you are not making up your own sentences. You are okay. taking the sentences from the main text. Okay. The only possibility where you may make a grammar mistake is when you join the sentences. Okay, can okay. you please give a bit more about how can I join the sentences? 100%. I'm going to give you the three fixed rules. I'm going to try to make it the easiest today. Use three joiners to join the sentences. We will be using this joiners. Uh, and if you will, if you guys need to write, I'm going to use the joiner but, and I'm going to use the joiner so. Okay, the rule to use a joiner here to make it a compound sentence, if I want to make it a compound sentence, make sure before the joiner you place a comma. For example, okay. this is idea one and idea two. If I read both of them, it looks like that the joiner that must be used here is and. Okay, I'm adding further information. So after attention, I'm going to place a comma and write and. This is my joiner and part of the problem. Okay, so what I did here, this is idea one, as you guys can see. This is idea number two, and I used a joiner and a comma. Okay, perfect. Easy. For two and three, there is a contradiction, and the but already exists, so I'm going to keep it. So after wheel, I'm going to put a comma and put mm -hmm. but. but okay, one must so understand. that, that uh, you know, contradicting discourse marker is already there. There is a there, contradiction. So, yeah, they, Opposite, we don't need yeah. to change it. Change Just it. leave it over there. They did the job for us. Right. And at the end here, because in this context, it was a conclusion, so I'm going to use so to join three and four. So a little consideration is needed and full stop at the end. Yeah. Ah. So this is one sentence. It is a compound sentence. The trick we did here, we used here, will definitely get you the score. You just make sure you are placing a comma before that. And the okay. word count for this one is 71 words. It is a okay. 71 word It's summary. within the word limit. Within the word limit. As you can see, there's only one full stop at the end. Mm -hmm. I just need guys, make sure you check all of the time your spelling because sometimes accidentally you may place a full stop in the middle and you'll be in a big trouble. 
Okay. Okay. Ali, is this ready for me to submit? No. No, no, not now. Okay. There's one I more. This is the summary. It's already ready. It's connected. It's got the connectors. It's got mm. the commas and everything. Mm -hmm. So what's missing here? There's one more, uh, one more marking criterion. The last aspect, which is vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, what we suggest our students, uh, as per our experiments, to get two out of two in this, I need you guys to decide up in two words and change them with their synonyms, and make sure guys you go to the words that you know the synonym, and you know how to spell. What does this mean? Okay. I think I'll ask you a question. Um, what is the synonym of credit card? Mm, let's say bank card. Bank card. Mm, see, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a bit tricky. Or what's the synonym of globalization? Pollution. Mm -hmm. They're a bit tricky. So my message mm -hmm. for students, guys, don't go with these tricky words. Yeah. Okay. Try to choose words that are uh, changeable easily. You can change it easily like promote, enhance, uh, mm -hmm. overtake, overcome, and so on. Okay. So Ali, does it matter that even if I change the simplest of words, wait, use synonyms for the simplest words, it, does it still serve my purpose? You will, get the, you will get the mark, but make sure you know how to spell this synonym and okay. make sure it does make sense in the context. For example, okay. here, if I go to reducing, I think we can write minimizing. Yep. So here, minimizing makes sense, yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, if I want to change mentality, for example, or yeah, attitude, and I can change attitude by behavior, for example. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Attitude and behavior, pretty yeah. much the same. So here, sorry. Okay, so here I changed two words, okay, that will get me the score. I changed uh, attitude by behavior, and I changed reducing by minimizing, yeah? Mm -hmm. Some of you may say I can change requires by needs. Okay, it makes sense. Minis, maybe issue or problem, but those are the easiest one here to be changed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a, don't forget I used here the British spelling. Okay. Because so your that's entire why summary is British yeah, and probably British. Yep. Makes sense. That's why there is you here and the S here for British. Okay. If I do that, I will get seven out of seven guaranteed to the writing and to the reading section. Yeah. It's since uh, it's it's way clearer now. I hope it's it's way clearer for the students as well. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ali, for that very clear demonstration of a summarized written text. Hopefully, you, our so students uh, they they understand as well. So, just want to quickly uh, address the students. But before I do, Ali, do you have any message for our students? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for this uh, task today. It's really very helpful. And for our students, as you see, guys, this task is one of the, because of the strategy, it must be an easy task, yeah? So try to practice it consistently as per this strategy, and you should be fine in a very short period of time. I okay. think the big challenges are in other tasks, such as repeat sentence and write from dictation. True, true. But this one shouldn't be a nightmare for anybody, especially after today's session. Of course, of course. Yep. Well, thank you, Ali, for clearing everything with regards to summarization text. Uh, dear students, for those of you who's reached out to me, hopefully the ideas are way clearer now and how you can write a good summary in a very simplest of manner explained by Ali. Uh, feel free to be in touch with us if you need help and if you have any queries with regards to any topics in PT or any issues and concerns that you're facing. We thank you so much for tuning in and you guys. take care. Be safe. Bye.